It's June 3rd, and here in Illinois, most of us have not had measurable rainfall in weeks. With all the heat and low humidity, the cool season lawns around here are struggling. My neighbor's lawns are already going dormant. Unfortunately, there's no rain in the forecast, so I began to do some research on what I can do without running up my water bill. Now, I found a secret that has not quite caught on in the lawn care community yet. But before I reveal the secret, I'm going to real mow the bluegrass for the last time before I let it grow out to its summer mowing height of two and a half inches. Ooh, I got a plan. Normally I wait until July to let the grass grow out, but this is an abnormal weather pattern that we're stuck in. So to protect my lawn against this extreme weather, I decided to use an anti-transparent. One of the ways a grass plant loses water is through transpiration where the water evaporates from the porous holes on the blade. Now this product, Moisturize, is sprayed on the turf and acts like a sealant, preventing water loss through transpiration. Now, you may not have heard of this type of product, and there's a reason for that. It's not widely used in the turf industry because of the nature of lawn maintenance, which requires frequent mowing. Mowing will cut off the part of the plant that has been protected from the anti-transparent, thus making the application useless. This is generally used in the most extreme weather scenarios like the Midwest is experiencing now. Without irrigation and a cool season lawn, mowing frequency will be way down, making this a viable product to use. As I was spraying that moisturize, I could smell a strong odor of pine. That stuff is made of pine oil and it smells like I was spraying a Christmas tree out here. However, I don't smell it now, but I don't have the greatest sense of smell. So I'm gonna have my wife come out here and see if she can smell it because I don't wanna tell you to go buy this product if you're gonna spray it on your lawn and you're just gonna smell like a Christmas tree outside in front of your house. All right, so this is my wife, Whitney McNabb, and she's gonna tell us whether or not she can smell anything out here. So Whitney, do you smell anything right now? Summer. Summer. Good. Now I got one more question for you. What are you doing later tonight? We're gonna do a little experiment here. I'm gonna take my hole cutter and I'm gonna create a plug and I'm gonna split it up and put it into these little cups here. Then I'm gonna take my moisturize and I'm gonna spray one of the cups and leave one of these as a control. Then I'm gonna leave these outside for a few days and see if there's any difference in the quality of turf after being left outside in the heat and having the moisturize applied to it. Hi, my name's Aaron McNabb. I'm with the DIY Lawn Care Association. I was wondering if I could have a few minutes of your time. Hi, my name's Aaron McNabb. I'm with the DIY Lawn Care Association. I was wondering if I could have a minute of your time. Oh, you know me? And you saw that video of me trying to put a move on my wife and you don't think I have any game? So the results of the market research are in and 98% of the people I polled had never heard of Moisturize and had never heard of an anti-transparent being used as a lawn care strategy to help your lawn get through drought. Now the results are in and does this strategy actually work? Well, looking at the control group here, I can see that the grass is matted over. It's starting to lay down and it just doesn't have the same shine and look as the plant that was sprayed with the moisturize. Now, of course, this could just be totally bogus. And the most important thing to do is follow the basics, follow the fundamentals of lawn care, and you're going to have a decent looking lawn as long as you do that. Now, if you're curious, I have a cool season lawn guide that will guide you through the fundamentals to help you get a nice looking lawn. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching.